at ServiceNow Knowledge 14 is sponsored by ServiceNow. Here are your hosts, Dave Vellante and Jeff Frick. Welcome back. We are here live at Moscone South at the ServiceNow Knowledge Conference. Three days, a lot of innovation, a lot of talk about business value. Uh, it, it really, just amazing things going on here. And one of the um, big uh, pieces of news today was the announcement of the Innovation of the Year uh, award winner. About 50 plus, about 51 uh, submissions came in to service now. They had a filtering process. We heard Fred Luddy this morning talking about how you know, he had to look at every one of these and they had to make the cuts. It was very difficult, I'm sure. I said it was like cutting kids out of Little League. Very, very difficult. But, uh, uh, and then the audience ultimately votes on the winner. And we have the winner here. Elma DeVolk is a managing consultant at Platformation, the, this year's winner of the Innovation Award. So, well, first of all, welcome to theCUBE, and congr congratulations on your, uh, your winning. Thank you very much. Yeah, we were super excited. Yeah, you, I, you know, I could tell you guys are up on stage, and it was a big deal, right? I mean, it's very competitive. Um, I mean, it's, it's awesome. I mean, you had VeriSign up there, you had uh, Yahoo, and right. really some great um, you know, innovations and applications. So let's start with Platformation. Uh, tell us a little bit about the, the firm. So actually we are a small uh, startup, so uh, we considered uh, today's uh, award uh, like a, a David and a Goliath kind of a, uh, a matchup. So we are basically a company that consists of, uh, if you count very broadly, maybe nine uh, people. And we've been founded uh, uh, with uh, two of my partners, uh, Bas Tax and Roel Schoenmakers and myself. We founded this company seven months ago. Awesome. So, I mean, you uh, beat Yahoo. Still new. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, wow. we're very fresh. So uh, yeah, it? taking up this competition. Was Nine so people, I think, including your wife and your kids. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Almost. So what do you guys yeah. do? Yeah. So uh, yeah. So uh, the company is called Platformations, uh, and we are uh, uh, mainly focused on uh, on uh, uh, consultancy service around platform as a service technology. So we uh, yeah we strongly believe in that platforms can really transform the way that businesses uh, operate and that IT can uh, that IT can be used to deliver value and um, yeah so that's what we saw it was also today's in today's speech of uh, Fred Luddy yeah, that IT can truly become an enabler for the uh, innovative um, uh, ways of the f of the f of future uh, companies and we basically also a little bit saw that same vision and we thought we need to create a company that does consultancy services specifically on platforms and we have uh, yeah, basically just chosen ServiceNow as, uh, as, as yeah, our platform of, uh, of choice because we see yeah, great value and it's just yeah, simply just a very powerful platform. And, um, yeah. So what kind of services do you provide? You're talking about consulting and yeah. implementation, management? Yeah, exactly. We basically have three offerings. We do a strategic advice, so we do uh, package uh, selection processes, we do implementation projects. But our, let's say our, our key focus is also that we want to build apps, apps based on uh, specific customer demands. Uh, but also, uh, if we see that there's a generic trend in the market for a specific type of app, we don't wait for the customer to come to us. We just proactively try to create such an app. So that's basically what we did for this uh, for this competition as well. Okay, so tell me, tell us about the competition. So you're doing your job. You get, you get the startup going. You started, you said, seven months ago, right? So then you yeah. get what? You get an email saying. Uh, the, the, the call for innovation award submissions is that right? Or? It started actually a little bit uh, a little bit earlier than that. We were in uh, in conversations with our uh, with our partner manager uh, Dominique at uh, at ServiceNow, and she basically also gave us the hint about uh, at, that ServiceNow is running into situations where um, facility management is um, is asked for by by clients. But there was uh, let's say some uh, yeah, some still some room in. The, in, uh, in that market space, and we basically decided to just pick up that challenge. Yeah, we wanted to build apps. We're confident about ourselves, so uh, so that's what we did. So when when did the when did you start building the app for the award? Um, I think it was about uh, uh, November or December last year. Uh, we decided, okay, we're going to build this app. So what we need to do is we need to basically create our own mini hackathon um, uh, event. So we went on a plane with uh, with the three of us. We went over to um, uh, the Middle East to Bahrain. We invited some of our uh, our friends from that region over, and we basically sat in a hotel for five days. And actually, the initial idea was to sit there and to just uh, do a little bit of app building and on the side uh, look at uh, the country. 
but uh, the reality was that it was just five days of hacking away at the, at the system. And uh, basically, at, after five days, we had the, uh, the... You didn't leave the room for five days. <laughs> it, we didn't leave the room. I had my swimming shorts and everything packed, but it never actually... Uh, now, why Bahrain? You have development resources there? Or? Yeah, exactly. We had the development resources from the Middle East that we, uh, that we also wanted to train in, in the system. So uh, it's, uh, it can be quite difficult to get into Saudi Arabia. So that's why we chose uh, to go to Bahrain yeah. uh, instead. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So that's a, a unique approach. You decided to lead with platform. Most people like to lead with applications. So I'm curious how you came to that conclusion, and that's a really hard thing to go sell people, platforms, because yeah. most people don't have an open light item in a budget for a platform, usually yeah. it's an application. And my second question is, once you made that decision, why did you pick ServiceNow, and what other platforms did you consider, and yeah. what landed you with ServiceNow? Yeah, so, so you're totally right. So a platform is basically, the problem of a platform is that it's basically everything to everyone, and that's very difficult to sell because you're not uh, diving into a niche. However, what, what, what we see is that uh, there is typically a very big gap between what IT organizations can provide and what the business is actually demanding. And so th that's definitely not aligned. And we totally see that if you implement a platform, a solid application development platform in your company, then that actually allows IT organizations to bridge that gap because of the fact that you can so much more quickly uh, get your uh, development cycles, uh, your turnaround cycles, uh, yeah, it's just a lot quicker, basically. So you're you're almost embracing the gap as opposed to trying to find a fit. You're like happy for the gap. Let's put the platform in and start filling the gap with applications. That's it. That's it. So in typical development cycles of of custom applications, say you uh, you build for months, sometimes even years, and then uh, only to find out that the, the stuff that you've created is not matching uh, the demands of the business. Whereas with an application development platform, you actually allow companies to. Um, uh, yeah, basically, uh, you can you allow companies to develop so much more quickly, and you can uh, and you, by using prototyping and stuff like that. So you can expose your application so much more quickly to your clients and show them, okay, this is what you want, right? And if not, and you if can not. go through that cycle so much more quickly that yeah, you end up with a good system in the end, a lot quicker. And then why service now? Uh, and why service now? Uh, I think f for two reasons. Uh, one is of course a personal reason. We've got actually quite uh, we've, we have let's say almost a decade of experience in, in consulting around ServiceNow. So we basically know the ins and outs of that system quite uh, quite well. And uh, in that, uh, let's say, um, uh, yeah, building up that experience, we also yeah, more or less yeah, fell in love. It sounds a little bit corny with the, with the system. We all love Fred, that's okay. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but that's what it is. It's, so, yeah, it's just so, such a powerful platform. And uh, if, if you implement that system and you, uh, and normally with the whole organization uh, uh, usually gets into some kind of a um, resistance kind of a mode. Yeah, with ServiceNow, we we really have experienced it ourselves. That uh, uh, also end users also love to use that system. So we, we are really confident about about that product. We're confident about um, uh, let's say our own capabilities uh, in that area. And uh, yeah, we also see vast potential in using the uh, we call it the Lego blocks of of, of ServiceNow. To, yeah, to also build applications outside of the IT domain. So yeah, in this case, uh, for us, facility management. So Alma, tell us, tell us more about um, the process. So you're, you're in this uh, hotel room in Bahrain, right? Uh, or room, whatever it was. Yeah. What problem were you trying to solve? How did you guys you know, come up with the idea? Yeah, so, it, so on one side, it was uh, has service now basically uh, yeah, giving us uh, the heads up on guys, this is really something that is in uh, the market is, is in need for. Eh? So um, uh, what we see in the market is that uh, IT organizations or that the leadership of, of IT organizations are, so, are in the Netherlands also uh, broadening their responsibilities also to the facility management domain. And they just want to have a single tool to support both worlds. So that's basically the problem that, uh, that, that we saw. And that's why we said, okay, we need to have a solid uh, offering also in the facility management uh, area in order to have uh, position service now in the right uh, in the right way. Okay, so you essentially got code up and running in five days. Yeah. All right, and and then what? You had to do to do some cleanup afterwards, or you worked on it for several months, and yeah. then how did you uh, when did you submit it, and how did you submit it? Yeah. So basically, the process was about um, basically getting up the first version and then exposing it to the market and really getting all kinds of feedback in place. We also. Uh, we're, uh, we're, um, uh, we're able to contact ServiceNow and, uh, and show the application to them, to the facility manager of, uh, of, of ServiceNow, Daaf Sene. And uh, yeah, basically by getting the feedback of a real, uh, let's say, company helped us in, let's say, evolving the system and getting, let's say, more functionality in place, tweaking the system and, uh, and, and, until the place where it is uh, uh, yeah, right now. 
So, okay, so now what? What are you going to do with the app? Are you going to sell it? Are you going to share it? <laughs> and, uh, uh, are well, you going to bundle it? Uh, yeah, so the, the, yeah, the objective is indeed to, um, uh, to, to, to sell it off. So, um, yeah, uh, we've created this, intellectual, this piece of intellectual property and um, yeah, we're just hoping for uh, that, that people, um, yeah, if, they, if they visit the, our website, uh, facilitymanagementonservicenow.com, they can check out what it is and uh, we just hope that people uh, uh, see, see what it is and, uh, and, uh, and understand that uh, this could be yeah, of value to them. So how, how, well, so how will you actually go to market? Will you sell the application sort of separately? Will you bundle it as part of your services? Or, I mean, can I swipe a credit card and buy it? How's it, how's it uh, well, <laughs> it, it is actually more or less, uh, it is more or less that, indeed. It is a, let's say, a prepackaged thing. We can install it on a ServiceNow instance, or we can host as instance uh, for you. So mm -hmm. we, have, um, we have our partner network set up um, with uh, Orange Business Services, so that we mm -hmm. can also host that, uh, that, that, that service for them. Um, yes, as, and then, um, yeah, of course, we also have this, the support um, um, models in place so that if people start using the system and they have questions and stuff like that, we can also handle that and ensure that um, the system works. So you said you had a what, decade of, of experience almost with uh, with with ServiceNow. With or? ServiceNow, yeah, combined oh. with the three of us. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, combined decade. <laughs> okay, I was going to say the other two thirds are, you, are over there. Dave. You must have started <laughs> as, uh, as toddlers. There's six and uh, two thirds okay. over there. Now. <laughs> The red how shoes. would how would one have what would the experience be like to develop this application you know before service now what would it what, what, describe what that would have been or could you have even done it did you have the skill sets to do it or I, I think it would have been a a process that would have been far lengthier than what we have experienced like how uh, much right, right now I mean, like well, months well, yeah easily yeah. because like I said it for, for me when I was growing up as a kid I loved to play with Lego. And that's exactly what you can do when, uh, with, a, with a good application development uh, platform. You can build your tables easily by just dragging and dropping. You can build your workflows by dragging and dropping. So it's not a matter of coding and, and, and writing all those lines of code. It's just a matter of clicking it all together and making sure that it works. And the team was roughly five people who built this, so uh, not, yeah, not in, super yeah. small, but, but small. I mean, you, right. you know, yeah. five is about right, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and how did you divide and conquer the, the, the effort? Who did what and who decided who did what? I was or did you just start hacking? I was personally <laughs> primarily responsible for um, uh, the supply of coffee. And cheerleading? Cheerleading, cheering them up. Uh, actually asking them, uh, can we please go out and grab a beer somewhere? But, Do they uh, have pizza in Bahrain? I don't know. <laughs> well, you go grab the beer, we'll stay here and code. Is that <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That, that, was, that was the whole mission. That was the whole battle plan. But the, So my, my role is more in the, uh, let's say, in the PowerPoint uh, domain. And the other guys have uh, yeah, really done all their uh, most of the work in actually building the system. And so you uh, helped define the requirement, of, 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 and yes. then obviously you got yeah. feedback from the others and the team, and then they yeah. primarily did the coding, exactly, uh, exactly, and testing. Yeah. And yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's that's, uh, that's what uh, what it was indeed. Yeah, that's great. So what's next for you? What's next? Yeah. So. Yeah, we're very delighted that we are uh, Innovation Award uh, finalists. So uh, we hope that this will spin off, of course, uh, a little bit, uh, and that uh, companies will uh, will show their interest in, in the app. And uh, yeah, we hope to um, yeah, basically just uh, awesome. You get to come in the cube. And get to come in the cube. <laughs> <laughs> sit, sit, sit with you guys. Well, it's a so pleasure uh, having you, uh, Elmer. Thanks very much. We got we got to move on, but uh, excellent. Congratulations. Thanks very much. And good luck. Good luck to you guys. Thanks for your time. All right, All right keep Thanks. it right there, buddy. We'll be right back. A lot of innovation going on here at ServiceNow Knowledge, and uh, this is. The Cube. We'll be right back.